Akron, the city of invention, birthplace of the rubber industry. In a small corner of a former 100-year-old tire factory, a new high-tech industry is beginning to take root. This is the home of Tiny Circuits, a new company designing and manufacturing miniature electronic circuits. Today we're going to show you just what we do here, take you on a tour of uh, the whole process of how we make this. This is the Tiny Duino. Uh, launched on Kickstarter a couple years ago and now we're making a bunch of different options for these and so we want to take you through the whole process of how we design and manufacture these here in Akron, Ohio. So let's go see how it's done. The first step of the process is to actually do the design. So we have Alex here, who's one of our design engineers, that's actually working on some designs. We use Eagle to do everything, and I'll turn it over to Alex and he can tell you what he's working on. Uh, right now I'm just looking at a new revision of our processor board, but we also have many other designs that are on the way, um, including analog MUX, uh, RS-232 board, just a bunch of neat stuff that we're working on that will be out pretty soon. So after we do the design, we actually panelize the board, and there's 36 different boards on here. So we've got tiny Duino processors, USBs, LEDs, and some proto boards. We actually have about 10 different types of panels right now for different boards. And we buy these, we get these fabbed actually overseas uh, based on our design files. And then the first step is we put solder paste onto this. And the solder paste is really what, uh, when it heats up, will turn to molten solder. And so the way we do that is through the use of a stencil. So here's a stencil, it's laser cut to match this exact panel. Uh, if you notice on here, there's these little marks, which are known as fiducials, and those will line with the same marks on the panel uh, to be able to you know, register exactly to the board so we can paste on it directly, nice and perfect. So after it comes out of the printer, uh, you have to do an inspection just to make sure all the, you know, all the points are good. If so, we come over to the next machine, which is the picking place. The picking place actually puts all the components onto the board. All the components are on these tape and reels on the machine. These different resistors, capacitors, transistors, ICs. And this machine will automatically place those robotically. So to run this machine, there are two heads on this gantry that move around. And these heads will actually pick up all those parts. And so we'll load a board in. Uh, slowly so we can kind of see what's going on. So as you see the gantry is moving, it's going to move back to the, the origin of the machine and actually pick up two different nozzles because there's two different heads on the machine. So come over, you actually see it go down and pick up a nozzle based on the size of the component it needs to pick up. And the second head will also pick up another nozzle. After that point, it will load the board in loads the board in, it locks it into place, and now you see this red light on the, on the head, that's a camera. And there's actually a, a camera vision system that's using to look at two different points on the board. And it'll correct for any offsets in the board. Now you can kind of hear air running, the whole machine is, uh, is pneumatic, and so it'll pick up components, and you heard the advancement of those feeders, and it's actually going to go place the component onto the board. So it's just, just that paste that we put on the previous step is just holding it in place. And it'll just go like this all day. It's just using it's just XY data stored for that board and rotation. And it's just gonna keep going back and forth, just placing the components as needed. On the bottom of each head, there's a laser system. So as it picks up the part, it actually kind of twists it back and forth, looking at the X and Y of the part to see if you know, make for any corrections of errors in the tape, and also to know exactly the right angle to put down. So we'd be here all day if we let it run at this speed. So we will put the top down and make it go fast. So with this rate, we can place about 8,000 components an hour. And it'll take about, It'll take about five minutes to build up this panel completely. And as you saw there, it will go back and change the head based on the size of the component it needs to play. So we'll just let this run for a while and we'll have uh, a you know, finished board pop out here in about five minutes.
board that we just placed parts on, so it still has the wet paste on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it through the oven. The oven's going to heat up the paste, melt the solder, create all the connections, and then the board will be ready to be cut out and tested. All right, so there is a board that's ready to be cut out and tested. All of the solder paste has now melted and solidified into an actual metal that created all the electrical connections between all the components on the board. So now we're ready for the next step. Now we run up here an ultrasonic washer to get rid of any contaminants. So Greg here is put into the ultrasonic washer which basically just heats up the water and there's a, there's a cleaning agent in there as well. So it's deionized, deionized water, cleaning agent, and it just sits in there for about 15 minutes and uh, get, basically gets uh, underneath all the parts and cleans them up. And when that's done, then we'll rinse off the pores and let them dry. Now that the 15 minutes is over, we take it out and we wash it with uh, deionized water here in our sink. and. That's just so there's no contaminants left on the boards when that's done. And then we just set them out to air dry, usually overnight. Um, and then after that stage, it goes to testing. So Sean here is testing the boards. And so we've got a custom test fixture made. So it's checking for shorts right now. So we put it in the fixture, we have a program that runs on it. And so all the boards that we run through are completely tested for open shorts and functionality. So this is the first part of the testing we do and then we'll go forward with doing more testing as well. So everything's 100% tested. Well, thanks for taking the time to take a tour of Tiny Circuits and what we do here. And if you're ever in Akron, we'd love to have